Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mission Media tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to even out skin tone inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now this isn't a skin smoothing tutorial, this is actually evening out the color. So you can see here we get, you know, this gradation from, you know, this pinkish to this not pink, and it's just not, not the best. So how do we fix that? Well, the first thing we'll do is add a new node. And there are actually two different ways that you can do the same technique. The first one I'm going to show you is only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio, but the other one is available in the free version. It just takes a little bit more work. So the beginning for both of these methods that we need to start off with is getting a key of our skin. So we'll start by making a qualification with a power window. So just drop this guy on there. Shrink it down so it's looking pretty good. We'll say that that is pretty nice. Then we'll go ahead and track it. So turn off Perspective 3D and track forward. And the next thing that we'll do is take our key. So we'll go over to our Qualifier tab and click and drag across our skin. And you see, first of all, you don't really see much happening except for you're getting the preview over here. But if you hit Shift-H on your keyboard, then you can see your preview. So just click and drag until we get all the skin that we want in there. You can see that's pretty good, good enough for this. And then we'll increase our blur radius some. Now you're seeing that we're getting some eyes in there. And that's not too big of a deal for this particular technique, but you know, just for the sake of keeping things clean, because this is a pretty subtle thing, we can roll this back. And now, you know, this isn't getting the all of the skin, but that's fine, because once again, this is just a pretty subtle thing. So now we can hit Shift H again, so we can see our whole thing. And we can start applying the technique now. So drag the color compressor on this node, which is found in the OFX library, color compressor. It'll pop up with a settings tab. We can go and click our target color. So we'll just click random spot on the cheek there. And then we'll use compress hues. So this will shift the hues of all of the selected area so that it's closer to this one. Well, it still retains the same saturation and luminance. So as we move this up, you can see we get a much more even skin tone. So if you see before and after, smooths it right out which is really good for males because you don't want most males don't some males <laughs> don't want to just go the full you know all the way porcelain because that looks silly and like justin bieber so you can just do this little thing and that just evens it out enough so it's a little bit less distracting whenever the skin is not the best and now like i promised we have another method of doing this so i'll turn off this color compressor we can do this same sort of thing with our color curves. So if we go over to our hue versus hue curve, we can select the color that we want to rotate around. And I see we get this and two points on either side, which is really nice. We'll just drop down a point on either side of those, and then we can shift this one up. And I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better. And this one down. Oop, that's too much. And now you can see it's much more even, especially if you look in this area right here. As so I toggle it off and on, you see, much, much better. So there's a nice, simple skin smoothing technique. I like the color compressor version. That's the way I use. It's nice and fast and, and easy. That's a good way to get nicer looking skin without, you know, going full Barbie doll on it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you like, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Tell me what sort of tutorials you want to see. If you've got particular footage you want me to play with, you've got questions about, message me over on Facebook. I'm pretty slow to get back with you, but I normally do get back with you. So I won't color grade your whole project for free. But if you've got, you know, an interesting shot, we might be able to talk. We also might not. You know, whatever works for you. Also, check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of good stuff, uh, especially the Swiss Let's Pack. It seems to be people's favorites. So just drop one of these guys on here. We could probably put one of the fill-ups on this and then dial it back some. We do this just for some flavor and then bring it back down. This isn't how I would actually grade this, but, you know, it's sometimes nice to just get little shots of stuff in here. Just bring this down to like, you know, 0.25 or so. I'm going to do more, like 0.4. There you go. So that just gives it a little bit extra room. You know, maybe I would leave it at the end. That looks pretty nice. So that one is, oh, that's actually Sam and Nero 01. Those have a very particular style, which is inspired by something else, which you may or may not be able to guess from the title. Uh, but there's also other stuff there. There's, you know, some stock stuff. There's going to be new stuff added there soon, too. And if you sat through this rambling, you know, we've got a little treat.
we're done with the add, I'm actually going to break down the primary grade that I did on this too. So let's look at this primary grade, just for those of you who stick around. So this primary grade is really simple, but there's one interesting thing in here that I did. So the first thing that's going on is we've got just our primary wheels with our lift gamma gain, which is just sort of correcting our brightness of the image. So before, after brings it up, I especially raise the gamma up just to make the skin a little bit nicer. So you see without the gamma and then with the gamma, it helps out some. Without the gamma, the final value for the skin would end up looking something like this, probably. So see, that's not very nice. So there we go. It's nice and even. You could probably bring the lift down a little bit more if we wanted to. So there we go. That's looking pretty nice. I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit. So 61 instead of 50. And now the interesting part is over in our hue versus saturation curve. You see that I've taken all of the green out. And that's because you can see if we turn this off, this white background looks pretty green. So we could do it by taking the green out, or we could also try shifting it to magenta in our tint control. But you see that makes the face way too pink. So just drop that down. Maybe we could use a little bit of magenta just to pop those shadows back into where they need to bow. But there you go. That is the primary grade before we did our cool skin stuff. And then our cool LUT at the end. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thanks for sticking around to the end part, because I know most people just click off right as they get to the ad. I do the same thing too. But, you know, thanks for patting my watch time. I appreciate it. Once again, I'm Matthew with Meester Media. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.